Hello and once again welcome to my young chemistry lovers friends this video we shall continue to discuss the secret of studying chemical reactions logically we knew in the first video that all the reactions fall into either a redox type or non redox type so there are only two types of reactions and today we shall be taking off the second example and of course with some tricks to balance some complicated equations now let's take a redox reaction in which ammonia reacts with chlorine giving nitrogen gas and ammonium chloride ammonium chloride will appear as a dense white fumes because it is a solid but volatile so it will come as a very dense white fumes so ammonia reacting with chlorine giving you nitrogen and ammonium chloride before we study the logic how it is a redox reaction let's try to balance it giving the arbitrary coefficients x y p q you can as well give a b c d so this is what we call the algebraic method and it is based on the principle of conservation of atom or principle of atom conservation poac because the mass is never destroyed never created so also the number of atoms of each element so let's presume p is equal to 1 because these are all whole number ratios simple ratios you can we can take presume any of these coefficients as one usually the one having more number of atoms the difficult molecule is taken as one for simplicity of calculation and to avoid fractional values so you can as well take x is equal to 1 or y is equal to 1 here i have taken the coefficient p is equal to 1 so we have to uh, conserve all the elements one by one let us talk about nitrogen poac the number of nitrogen atoms will remain same on both the sides left and right so in the left side there are x nitrogen and in the right side there are p nitrogen from ammonium chloride and 2 q nitrogen from nitrogen gas so we build up one equation for nitrogen balance x is equal to p plus 2q then let's go for the hydrogen balance so in ammonia the number of hydrogen atoms is 3x 3x and in right side it is 4p and there is no hydrogen here so you have another equation 3x is equal to 4p and the last is for chlorine balance so here it is 2y will be equal to p p so these are the three equations that we have formulated for nitrogen hydrogen and chlorine since we have already presumed p to be equal to 1 so immediately we get x is equal to 4 by 3 we know x we know p so q we be, will be found out as x minus p by 2 so the value of uh, p is already known uh, sorry x is already known 4 by 3 so we get q as 1 by 6 so we have already known uh, x q p is already taken as 1 the only thing left is y so y is equal to p by 2 so it is 1 by 2 so all the coefficients are now determined so we have already put this in the fractional form but we have to eliminate the fraction by multiplying the lcm of all these values i mean the denominators so 6 is multiplied throughout so that it becomes 8 it becomes 3 6 and 1 1 is never written so this huge coefficients 8 3 6 1 would not have been found out by heat and trial method so for beginners the algebraic method is very cool but later 
you will be knowing some other techniques using the oxidation number method. Now, let us know what is the logic. Here, the oxidation number of nitrogen is minus 3. Hydrogen is plus 1. So, there are 3 hydrogens, so minus 3. So, the oxidation number of nitrogen is increased from minus 3 to 0 because this is a neutral nitrogen gas. This is 0. So, this is increase in oxidation number is oxidation. Chlorine was 0 here. And now it is chloride minus 1. So, the decrease in oxidation number is reduction. Therefore, it is a redox reaction. So, here ammonia is oxidized to nitrogen. Chlorine is reduced to chloride. So, ammonia, excess of ammonia is there. So, it will remain in the form of ammonium chloride. So, this is a redox reaction. One will be oxidized, the other one will be reduced. So, the trick now I am telling you is if in a reaction you find at least one of the reactants is an element, is in the neutral state, so definitely it will go for a redox reaction. Now, let us look to this very interesting uh, now, a experiment to that I have uh, we'll borrowed from chemical force. See, this is the liquid ammonia, this is liquid chlorine, they are adding, it is a very vigorous reaction, a lot of heat will be produced, so ammonium chloride will be produced in a very fast rate and these are the ammonium chloride vapors. And the nitrogen gas is produced there, it is expelling the ammonium chloride very fast and you are able to see, now see, such a exothermic violent reaction that is because the nitrogen gas is produced and this reaction expels the ammonium chloride solid at a faster rate. So, this is ammonium chloride and uh, nitrogen is expelling nitrogen along with ammonium chloride is coming out. So, this is a very interesting reaction where ammonia chlorine they react to produce uh, chloride ion and nitrogen gas and that chloride ion remains in the form of ammonium chloride as there is excess of ammonia. Now, say we go for another non-redox reaction where same ammonia will be used this time but not chlorine. There is no element. It is a compound. So, where ammonia reacts with HCl gas, they combine to form ammonium chloride. Right? This is a combination reaction. You can also call is acid base reaction. Uh, uh, you will know in a higher stage that ammonia is a base and HCl as you know is an acid. They react to form a salt. So, here the oxidation number of any element you find there will be no change at all. Nitrogen is minus 3 here. Nitrogen is also minus 3 here. If you do not know how to uh, find the oxidation number, you wait for my next video. Just wait for my next video. So, here chloride minus 1, minus 1, no change in oxidation number. So, this is a non-redox reaction. And here there is no evolution of nitrogen gas. So, that in the previous reaction nitrogen gas was evolved and that was uh, responsible to uh, expel ammonium chloride fast. But here we shall see a reaction from NCSSM online. So, I have attributed to them, it is a very interesting reaction where you uh, see how to one of the this fluoric acid in solution. You see, the air is blown because ammonium chloride cannot come out of its own. There is no nitrogen gas is evolved here. Now, it is his, the professor is blowing air so that here there is, a, uh, you can find here, uh, there is uh, this, in this conical flask, there is ammonia, there is chlorine, uh, HCl, not chlorine, HCl, they are mixing. You know, this is HCl vapor, this is ammonia, they are mixing here, ammonium chloride is produced and since he is blowing, then ammonium chloride is forced out because of the blow. So, here is it a non-redox reaction. Now, coming to uh, the last part, the bottom line that all chemical reactions have a logic. Hundreds of thousands of reactions should not be memorized unintelligently in a foolish manner. Rather, they should be dealt with fun.
Thank you. Bye bye. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. We have a series of short video lectures which will benefit you if you are a class 9 or 10 student. Bye bye.